Today, I am bringing you something special from Ireland. And no, it's not just me. It's a special whiskey from Bushmills. What about you whiskey lovers? And welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. You know, Bushmills have been really knocking it out of the park lately. They've had a couple of great entry levels with the bourbon cask with the Caribbean rum cask and now they've had released last week a couple of higher end Causeway Coast collection and the one I'm bringing you today is well it's the Marcella 1995 cask and that has been distilled on the 22nd of November 1995 it was recast on the 20. 4th of March 2006 and it was released last week. Now it's limited to what? 2,502 bottles which is pretty limited and it comes in at a cask strength of 57.8 ABV. It's non shell filtered, it's natural coloured and for those first 10 years it was matured in all of sherry casks and bourbon barrels and then for the last 15 years and marcella casks now that's pretty pretty special now the big thing here is you know it's a limited edition the cost here is a whopping 400 quid <laughs> Which is why I only have a sample here, you know. And when you see this lovely bottle and the case in the background, that is because I have been lent this by a whiskey loving mate who is more means than me. And it's just for the aesthetic look of the video. Now, if I come home with a bottle of this, that I actually paid for, if, well, if I could afford it. You can be rest assured that the next review on this channel would be a review in terms of an obituary for me. And it wouldn't be done by my wife because she would be on the run or in custody because she would be responsible for my untimely demise. You guys know what I'm saying. So before we get properly into it, this dram is covered by the whiskey coin from Chris from The Last Drop. This is an exquisite coin. It's made from wood, it's handmade, and you know what? It really is a work of art. So let's get into this. It's uh, something I've been looking forward to. I've let it sit open for a while. Unfortunately, it's just a sample, but at least I've got a sample of it because there's no other way I would be able to afford it. So you got to pour this, you got to pour something, whatever tickles your fancy, wing it into your glass and we'll drink along together because whiskey's always better shared and we'll start off in the nose. You can right off get that beautiful, rich aroma that's coming in. And you... And and you know what? Even though it's had more time in the Marcella casks, you can get that Oloroso Sherry cask influence coming in straight away. Plums, Sherry, Oloroso soaked, Sultanas and Raisins Christmas cake, charred wood, barrel char, like even barrel grit. It's like it's, it, it goes to what I say is a real damn good dirty whiskey. And that's what I'm getting here on the nose. A damn good dirty Dunnage whiskey. It's got so much richness and flavour on the nose. It's deep, it's dark, it's rich. And it's just so inviting. It's It, it just brings you into the nose and it makes you want 
to get right in on the palate, but at the same time, when you want to get right in on the palate, you still want to nose it a wee bit more. And that's a sign of a damn good whiskey. Getting a wee bit of seaweed there too. It's just a beautiful, wonderful nose. So let's see how it fares on the palate. I'm looking forward to seeing if that richness from the nose transpires to the palate. You know, non-shell filtered, natural colour, 57.8% ABV. Will that richness of the nose correlate to the palate? And you know what? I think it will because it's rich. It's flavoursome on the nose. And I'm hoping that the palate will bring even more through. So, let's launch it and we'll see. Oh, yes it does. It's rich. It's full of flavour. It's full of body. There's a wee bit of spice. Honey spice. Orange spice. A bit of nutmeg. Woo! And that Oloroso sherry comes through big time. Way, way more than the Marcella casks. You're talking Christmas cake, plums, raisins, dates. This is this is almost reminiscent of a damn good Edredor, and you know how much I like Edredor. This is great. There's barrel char. There's a wee bit of a wee bit of bitterness coming from that barrel char as well, like dark bitter toffee. Like barrel scrapings. <sighs> Do you know what? And it lingers. The mouthfeel is really, really good. It's <clears throat> it's luscious. It's a wee bit tannic, but the flavours linger and linger and linger. And the linger with barrel char, the linger with the Oloroso sherry, and the linger with that dark Christmas cake flavour. It is pretty complex. It really is. Based on this sample alone, you know what? I would love to have a bottle of it, but I just can't afford it. But you know what? Based on this sample alone, it's pretty damn good. And on the sample score alone, I would probably give this, what, a 91. And that's just an initial thought. This is just a sample score. And as you know, if I had the chance to get into the bottle and get down through it, that score would probably rise dramatically 400 quid for a limited edition bottle of this <sighs> can I recommend it well it's all subjective isn't it if you've got the wherewithal to buy it hell all day long if I had the wherewithal to buy it I would fucking buy it you know because what it's bloody lovely whiskey and there's only a wee dram left and I'm going to bloody savour it and, and thanks to my lovely whiskey loving mate who, who uh, gave me this bottle for the background. I'll try not to open it up and drink it all on you. What a joke. But uh, you know what? Bushmills are really pulling it together. They're really hitting it out of the park. They've got it at the entry level, they've got it at the high level. I've a couple of other ones to do. I've got a couple of other samples from the Causeway collection to get through, but this is the most recent uh, release. You know what? If you've got the wherewithal to buy this, do it. You'll not be disappointed. And if not, I hope you can get the chance to have a sample. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for you guys who are new subscribers. Thank you guys who keep 
coming back and supporting me and especially thanks to you guys who support me through Patreon and Subscribestar, it really means a lot. So please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Really appreciate your interaction and you know what? All the next time, you guys keep on looking after yourselves, look after each other and until the next time, keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it, don't you? Thanks for watching folks, I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.